Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mark Antimate here. I just recorded a whole video and realized I did not even have my audio recording. So I'm not doing this all over again. I got my B-roll footage from the previous video that I did in which I didn't record the audio. So I'm just going to do a quick video now and I'm going to tell you guys about some external hard drives. So over the course of let's say about 15 years since 2008 I have accumulated a total of about 15 external hard drives a majority of those are mechanical hard drives and I have four hard drives that are SSD with no mechanical moving parts on the inside the very first external SSD that I bought was from SanDisk and that one works absolutely perfectly. That's plugged inside my PlayStation 5 right now and I don't want to take that out so I can't show it to you. But based on the strength of how good that SanDisk was, I bought two more SanDisk hard drives. This one is one terabyte, that's the light gray, and then this one right here, that's the uh, dark navy blue. This is two terabytes, so one terabyte, two terabytes. Same same read and write speed on both of these which is up to 1050 megabytes per second the only problem that i have with these as good as the first sandisk ssd runs which is connected to the playstation that one never disconnects from anything but i noticed that when i plug these two inside of my macbook m1 pro max computer or whatever the hell this computer is called it seems like every 20 to 30 minutes, I'll get a notification that says your external hard drive has been ejected. Uh, please eject it the proper way before, before removing it or something like that. So I don't know why these things are always disconnecting, but since both of these are disconnecting, I just didn't want to take that gamble and buy a fourth one. I just decided that I'm just completely done with SanDisk. So on Amazon Prime Day, I went out and I bought this one right here. This is the Samsung Portable SSD T7 Shield, 4 terabytes per second. Now this one has read and write speeds up to 1,050 megabytes per second too. It comes inside of a similar form factor and you have two cables that come with it. You have a USB type A to USB type C which I'm not going, going to use or don't really need to use that much. And it comes with a USB Type-C to Type-C cable, which I need for my MacBook M1 Pro Max computer. And this one has a nice rubberized protective case to it. It doesn't slip around on a countertop. And this is IP65 uh, dust and water resistant. And it has a, because of this case, it has a three meters drop resistance. So this is very cool. Also password protected, all that good stuff. I really love Samsung products and I have good faith that this is going to treat me right. And hopefully this one does not keep connecting and disconnecting because if it does, then it means that it wasn't my hard drives all this time. It means that it was my computer. But why do I have so many hard drives? Well. I keep buying them because I need more storage. But out of these 15 hard drives that I've been collecting since 2008, not a one of them has failed on me. But it's not something that you can really sell off to other people used once you open it up and use it for X amount of years because it could be the case that once I sell it to somebody within six months to a year, it could go bad on them. And then they'll be complaining to me that I sold them junk. So I keep all of my hard drives but sometimes I use them for backups of backups. Sometimes I might only have just movies on it. Sometimes I might only have my photography work on it. Sometimes I might only have my graphic design work. Sometimes it might just be a business hard drive only, or sometimes it might be a backup of multiple things on there. So you can always use more hard drives. And like I said, I have one plugged into my PlayStation 5 right now. Anyways, very happy with this purchase. I bought it on Amazon Prime Day for a very cheap price. This is the most terabytes that I've ever bought for inside of an SSD and for the cheapest price that I ever paid for it. 
So I'm looking forward to this thing treating me right. If you're a professional photographer or do any kind of creative work like me, you want to keep an archive of everything, whether it's for personal use or your client's work. Because I did have clients contact me saying, uh, we lost the photos, can you send them to me again? And I say, no problem, because I have everything backed up on here. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out inside the world. And as always, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy. I'm out.